Brent Lightning plays lead guitar for Vixen, the all-female rock band. And we love girls that rock. Woo! We love girls that rock. <laughs> we're asking, we're going to ask Brit about what was the first guitar she ever played. Oh, the first guitar I ever played would have been um, an Ibanez, and it was my friend's, and I borrowed it, and then he got mad that I borrowed it because he knew I didn't know what I was doing. Um, but then I learned, and I, and I bought my own guitar, and it was a purple, sparkly Ibanez, like, cheap S-series. And um, it was kind of awesome because I told my dad I wanted to start playing guitar, and he was really supportive and excited. And he said, you know what, I'll buy you your first guitar. So we walk into Guitar Center, and I, I go to the front of the store, and I'm like, Dad, okay, I'm ready. And he sees the guitar, and then he sees a little practice amp, and he's like, whoa, wait, whoa, what's that? And, and I was like, it's an amp. And he's like, well, we're playing electric guitar? And he was like, I didn't sign up for this. But, uh, but I got it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that was my first. And you, what do you play now with Vixen? And with Vixen, I'm playing a Charvel right now uh, with Seymour Duncan Pickups. It's one of the wild card series. Uh, but, but I also have Fenders and Les Balls and... I was can't. Warren Demartini an influence? Oh, he's a Charvel guy. Yes, I love Warren. Yeah. I absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, he's his phrasing. Warren and uh, Eddie Van Halen and uh, those were my and then Paul Gilbert and Marty Friedman and uh, David Gilmore, Steve Ray Vaughan. It's kind of a wide range. Um, it's you a know, nice but, list. Yeah. <laughs> what about girl players? Oh, female players. Well, I was a Vixen fan, so Jan's amazing, and I'm, it's an honor to be able to play her parts. Um, Super underrated. Um, I love Lita Ford, yeah. Jennifer Batten. Her guitars, I'm an ex book. So is Jennifer's. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and also a huge Nancy Wilson fan. She's one yeah. of my all time favorites. Love her. Yeah. yeah. They're all good influences. Yeah. <laughs> so no SGs, though. Nancy's an SG girl. I know. You know, I don't, I don't have any SGs, which is crazy. I have a few Les Pauls, um, but I like the weight of the Les Pauls, and I feel like. Sometimes I just feel like I don't. There's, I like the substance of the, <laughs> the heavier guitars. So, as a as a female guitar player, are there any challenges that you've come across in kind of a man's world, or do you feel like it's evening out a little bit? Um, you know, it's getting better. I I do feel like at first, like people always assume I play acoustic. They always assume I'm not very good. Um, and then and then they'll, they'll everybody's like, wow, oh, oh, I'm. So, you're really good. I'm so impressed. Like it's like, well, I mean, that's just like that. You wouldn't say that to a dude, you know. It's like, yeah, you right. just assume they knew what they were doing with their instrument. Or like when I'm setting my stuff up without a tech, they're like, oh, you, like she knows how to use gear. Like that's what a what a concept, you know. But it's like, yeah, uh, this is what I do. Who who have you played with that, that you were just wow that you got to share the stage with? Oh wow. Um, well, I, I really enjoy playing with Vixen uh, as I look up to all those girls a lot. Um, but when I played with Alejandro Sanz, um, that was amazing just because uh, it, was, it was a huge production and we were playing big stadiums and they were always like sold out and the crowd was just like electric and singing along to everything. And uh, those musicians, they were so great. And what was interesting about that was half the band didn't even speak English very well. Um, and so like it was more communicating through playing together. and. Um, they were all so, so talented. I just got the chills every single night on stage. It's a real example of how music's in universal language. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, you don't need to speak a language to connect. No, absolutely. That's the beautiful thing about music. Yeah. That's why I named my book 108 Rockstar Guitars, because everyone says 100 greatest or, you know, the 101 greatest. And 108 is a cosmic number, like music is. You could do 108 Wikipedia, and there's a whole Wikipedia about the cosmic elements of this number. That's how many beats there are on the mala. You knew that. Yeah. You knew that. You know that. an infinity number. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot that I don't know about it, but yeah. yes, cool. I love that. We'll keep rocking. Okay. Thank so you, Britt. see you out there. Thank Thanks you for coming by. Cheers.